Good morning vlog. Uh, maybe just morning though. So, I know I haven't vlogged in a minute, but it's the day after the Dominic Fight concert that I've been looking forward to for like ever. Also, <laughs> anyways, mentally feel kind of terrible. I got home at 3 a.m. and just woke up. <laughs> so I'm just like gonna kind of vlog the aftermath. I was gonna vlog yesterday and then I forgot because I was just so caught up in the excitement of it all. But yesterday was really, really fun. Um, maybe I'll include a couple clips that I took. I wasn't even that close, so my clips kind of suck. But it was fun. But then I waited in like an hour and 15 after to see him come out and I saw him for like a second and he just waved from afar. Which is like, I understand he was sick, but I'm like disappointed in myself for doing that and waiting that long. <sighs> so, yeah. Anyways, maybe I'll just vlog today or like the next couple days just, just for the vibes because I don't go back to college until the 24th, it's the 7th, and I got done with my summer classes. So all I have going on is work, work, and I get scheduled like three days a week, so not even, not even an issue, not even an issue. Anyways, guys. I'll see you in the next clip, okay? God, every time I see a clip on TikTok of him, I'm actually, I have, I have to skip past it. I have to skip past it, because it makes me feel sad. <laughs> okay, anyways. It's 1.30, so instead of just wasting away in my bed for ever, I'm going to shower and try to feel better about myself. Also, <laughs> okay, let me shower. <laughs> this is actually, this is a little bit embarrassing. Like, why am I so tore up about this? Oh, <sighs> okay. All right, shower and in the exact same outfit as before. Ugh. Just pretend not to notice, okay? Okay, fuck. Step two. Oh my god, this is terrible angle. Yeah. Step two in feeling better after Dominic Fike is let's eat something because it's literally two o'clock and i haven't eaten anything yet let's find something to eat okay i think we're just gonna start with a banana because one thing about me is i don't actually eat meals i just kind of eat things they don't necessarily go together ever but that's just the way that's just the way the cookie crumbles in my life Okay, let's eat something else. I'm still hungry. Okay, I'm kind of thinking tomato. A little salt right now. This looks, she's, oh. And she matches my nails. Also, these are the nails I got for, because it was Don't Stare at the Sun store. Don't Stare at the Sun store. Don't Stare at the Sun tour. And the album is called Sunburn. So it's like, eh. There you go. That's that's me fitting a theme. Anyways, tomato. Let's get it.
That was such a big tomato. <laughs> Feeling full. Completely off topic to the video I'm doing right now, but I just thought about why I'll never be a teacher or work with kids because they be like hurting themselves in the most gruesome ways on accident. You know what I mean? Like I just saw a TikTok about a, when they were a kid, they sharpened their finger and like a pencil sharpener. Like imagine having you like be like, oh, let me get a Band-Aid for that. Like I'd, I'd be barfing, throwing up. Anyways, back to, back to the video. Okay. Outfit change, new sunnies. Just got these in the mail. How do we feel? Anyways, um, the reason for the outfit change is I think the last and most important step of getting over Dominic Fike after seeing him, seeing him live is going to see your friends who also saw him live with you and just kind of like talking about it until you're bored of it. Talking about it into the ground. So that's what I'm going to do. Actually, at first, I need to go buy some books because I just finished the last book that I have. So I've got to go to the bookstore. And then I'll meet up with them. Okay, again, off topic to the video, but I'll just give a little book haul since I just spent like 40 bucks at the bookstore, as you do. So anyways, I got A Secret History by Donna Tart because I've been seeing so many good reviews on TikTok and I'm excited to read and then I'm a big Game of Thrones geek oh there's somebody walking out hold on all right anyways there's still people there but I'm just gonna finish what I was saying um I am I watched all of Game of Thrones in a month I read the prequel Fire and Blood and then I read the first Game of Thrones book so now time for the second all right I'm here we're here and okay the fact i was literally wearing this shirt and i took it off because i was like they're, I, they're gonna like make fun of me if i wear it out no because we would have all been <sighs> triplets i know i wish i did now i'm feeling like okay down. well we're very sad we're yeah sad. maggie sobbed on the way to the gym and yeah. she sobbed in the shower yeah so it's been a rough day but we have decided we're feeling better right now like yeah, yeah. after like about a day ish things are feeling better <laughs> a little bit feeling like people again a i just bit. feel like i'm a changed woman though like i just don't feel the same <laughs> it was it was pretty life changing yeah i agree <laughs> but yeah so we're gonna go we're gonna thrift we're gonna thrift and become him <laughs> yeah no, i don't know if we fully recovered if that's yeah we're like motive. doing what he would do wait does yeah, he thrift i don't know it looks like it I just like did a ton of shit today to like make myself busy and not think about it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, for real. Like, why is it like I'm acting like I'm like trying to avoid death? It's like, like a, you know, it's like a breakup. Same. Like it's actually like a breakup. No, yeah. but it's real. Like post concert it is depression is real. It is very real. <laughs> but this is bad. this is what this video is about. This is in solidarity title of everyone it, ever. That's title it post concert depression is real. Okay, but, but yeah. like I wasn't I, I've been at Laney. Yeah. I wasn't. Um, because Dom's literally boyfriend, lady. that's why. But he's like my favorite, Dom's like my favorite yeah. artist, so it's like... Yeah, it was pretty rough. It was expected, honestly. Yeah, I was I It was so expected, I finished my sad book before the concert, because I knew I wouldn't want to read it after. Yeah. Like, I knew I was going to already be sad. <laughs> yeah, So exactly. I had something to say that I forgot. What I had to say was, did you guys notice his little outfit change when he left the bus? No. He, oh, yeah, he's oh, wearing yeah. a white shirt. He was wearing a different outfit when he left, yeah. but that's... did you tell them about how we waited an yes. hour and fifteen oh, wait. minutes? Did I? I don't know. Tell them. Well, I can always cut it out. Should we stay? Should we find a hotel? We should we ask almost. somebody to stay? Yeah, we should have. And it just didn't really work out because we're not 21, so we can't really check into hotels. I asked people, and nobody was really. Why is it different in Utah? Being real. Like, why can you check in when you're 18 in Utah? I don't know what's going on. Probably because it's like they trust them more because they're Mormon. 
I don't know what the That's issue true. is. Something else I did today to recover was watch his music videos. I watched yeah. Did that help you recover? I was in the car when you were crying. You were like, his music videos I had to. So I had to kind of stop watching anything. I could listen to I can listen to him. I can't watch. Like, and I watched Vampire. Show. Stop. With, with that band in it, yeah. yeah. Is she really? Oh, yes, I have seen that one. So much. Was Stop. she pretty? Stop. Yeah, she's really okay. pretty. Need to watch it now. Need to know all the lore. Although I will say the one thing that I did do today was research and make sure Diana was the one, the the white bitch from the Palisades. What song is that? Move down my mom, please. Move down my mom, please. Is it dark? Replace my white bitch with the. Yeah, it's dark. Yeah, it's dark. From dark, his song "Dark" says, "Replace my mama with a white bitch from the Palisades." And then and after she, she broke up with me, I became who my mama no, hates. Like, I became I my dad. On... I would break promises that I would make to my favorite people. I cheat on my favorite B word, and then I would like through my teeth. You remember what not? Why are you saying B word? So let's talk about that. I know Chloe acts Why are you like acting like you're a little. Sink? She's 19 I years know. old. Don't like. I don't want to. This cut video. On camera. This video okay, is gonna get I max know. 50 views. No, I know you're gonna link it on your Probably. Instagram. So it's I, still will only get 50 views. Would you though. actually? I'm not cussing. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. I don't want to. I did today, but that's my own prerogative. Um. Did you was, like my rap? Yeah, it was really good. But basically, Diana Silvers is the girl. She's really about. pretty. She's beautiful. She dating. is perfect. Her facial structure is like, and she's from LA. Goddess. Mm -hmm. It's I want to. I want to cut my hair like her right now. <laughs> no, I don't like her cut. Though. Her hair is like. It's kind of good. No, it looks better when it's long. She just looks hair. old. I think like this, I don't like, like that cut. It's too. Look, like, makes you look old. Bob. Okay, go off. But this is my actual hair. Okay. It's so cute. <laughs> okay. Um. Well. Basically, that's it, guys. Hey, vlog. I just wanted to close out and just kind of finish this video on a high note because this is a little bit of a downer. Um, and my message is this. Post-concert depression is real, but the cure? Buying more concert tickets. Um, I recently bought, like last week, bought tickets to see Declan McKenna on November 4th. And then tonight I bought tickets to go see Between Friends on November 8th. So now I have something else to look forward to, and I'm super excited, and I love Dominic Fike, and yeah, so you're not alone in your, in your post-concert sadness. We've all been there. Anyways, I love you guys so much. Bye for now.